Hey, what's going on YouTube? It is Krosama here, and here we have today is going to be a review on the Figure Eye Standard Son Goku Ultra Instinct. Now, this one is the powered up form from the Dragon Ball Super line, and I absolutely love it. I may not have finished all of Dragon Ball Super. I really just kind of watched the first 10 episodes and caught glimpses of the ending fights in that universe tournament. Uh, really, I really enjoy what I like, though. I, I really love the battles, but, you know, I guess maybe as I, got, you know, gotten older, I just kind of, you know, went away from the Dragon Ball franchise as a whole. I still really love it. I love Dragon Ball. I love Dragon Ball Z. Don't really talk about GT. But, you know what? It, this is really cool, and this is starting to get me a little bit more motivated to just jump into the Dragon Ball Super franchise. So before you and Shiny Nipples over here gets well acquainted, definitely go check out NewTypeHQ.com. I know I pretty much got this kit before the partnership went into place, but you know what? I still really love the team over at NewTypeHQ, and I definitely encourage you to check out their site. And if you really want this kit, hey, use that promo code Krosama, get that 10% off, and add this kit to your collection. So on to the review. Now what I can tell you about this figure is that it is really damn cool. I know it reuses a lot of parts, mostly just from the waist down, from the original Goku from the Figure I Standard line, but you know what? I don't care. I never built that kit, so it didn't really feel like I'm repeating anything because Honestly, this is only the second figure I standard kit I've ever built. I've built the Android 18, and now I've built this one. So, honestly, my opinion of this line is it really remains strong. Uh, I know this came out last year, and it's... I don't know. I think it just really holds up. Um, it's a very good alternative to like the Figma or uh, Tamashii Nation line. So if you really don't want to pick up any of those like SH Figure Arts and all that, you can easily just turn to these model kits and do a little bit extra work instead of just kind of getting whatever the default you know coloring or the default weathering from those like figure lines come with. Uh, with this, you have a little bit more freedom to kind of just do whatever you want. And the price points usually uh, roughly between like fifteen to like twenty five dollars. So you are going to have, you know, a pretty cheap looking kit that you can just go ahead and detail and make look good. So before we get into articulation, let's take a look at all the details on the kit. So when talking about the details in this kit, I'm mostly referring to all the muscular features. So yeah, I mean, you're really gonna have some like just etched in, just beautiful details all like in the lats. You got just the core looking good. You also have the and also in the arms. I mean, the forearms alone, God, they're so massive. Uh, then you're also gonna have the back, which looks super damn cool. Now I am going to just uh, point out the elephant in the room, which is gonna be all this silver and kind of like gray lining all in the, the muscle, like the muscles and the curvatures. I went with that just because, you know, I know a lot of people go with just like a flesh tone, so people usually go with like orange or they just use like a different shade, like a tan or something like that to really highlight it. I just, I went with the silver because, I mean, he's in Ultra Instinct mode, so I'm kind of thinking like, all right, he's going to have this like aura around him that is silver, and I'm just kind of like, you know, replicating that through the uses of, this, this was all just dry brushing, and... I use Mr. Colors Gun and Chrome number 104 to actually achieve that. So it's a beautiful metallic, and I use that for all like the etching in of the, the muscular details, as well as the hair and eyebrows. So with the details of the hair and just like the face and everything, it looks really good. This is something I actually would say is on par with the SH Figure Arts line. Um, I mean, obviously the quality is a little bit higher on there, whereas you know you see all these like different, you know, the the seam lines and everything easily fixable obviously but you know what i mean it looks so good that's the only thing i'm really just loving about it, is that you get all these little details inside the hair and it just adds like i just went ahead and panel lined all that black uh on top of the um the dry brush silver and i just think it looks super damn good so um i'm just gonna give this like a plus up on the uh, sh figure arts because it, i don't know it just you, you get that wide range of opportunity to fix up however you know you really want it and the silver on here originally was not bad but i just decided to go with this and you know just dry brush it to give it a little bit more of a pop and then you are going to have the face which looks super menacing lots of emotion built into there and if you want, you can swap that face out with this more, like, just angry and grinding of the teeth face. 
Now, like I mentioned before, this lower half is pretty much going to be uh, from the Goku, and I think this is the Goku that uh, went Super Saiyan for the first time, because uh, obviously you're going to have the ripped uh, key right down here. So. I mean, it looks good. I don't have any problems with it. Uh, whenever we go into articulation, you'll definitely see some of the bends. But you know what? It's it's okay. You're going to have some red stickers, which I got lazy and I decided not to paint that red. Uh, maybe eventually I'll go ahead and I'll just paint it red and then just give it another top coat. Now for all these like little anime kind of like scratches and like little markings, just to give it a little bit more of that cartoony look, um, I used a Real Touch Marker Black to get all those little effects right there and then I just kind of went over some of it with a real touch red so that way I can just show you know wounds I don't believe uh, in the series you, you really see much of this um, whenever he's fighting uh, what Jaren but you know what it's it still looks good now for articulation the head is on a ball joint the neck has a hinge shoulders can move out also on a ball joint can move out bicep swivel bend at the elbow ball joint the hand Ball join the torso, waist can swivel, hips can move down, also swivel at the hip, can move about out that far, back that far, forwards about that far, bend at the knee, shin rotation, hinge joint, and can rotate. Now, unfortunately, the articulation is going to hinder it in some areas, namely the elbow and the knees, and the hip joints aren't really that great, but you can still achieve the necessary poses as desired. Now for accessories, you are going to get this little adapter so that way he can do some aerial poses. Unfortunately, the stand is not included. You just plug this right underneath the little sash and voila, you have him in a beautiful aerial pose. You also get two fists and he gets two open hands so that way you can pose him shooting the Kamehameha. And you get this really cool energy ball so I would probably say maybe paint this up however you want. I am just a little bit too lazy, never got around to doing it, but it looks really damn cool. And the last accessory is going to be this actual blast effect part. Uh, really, you can just go with anything that's in the Dragon Ball universe. It doesn't really have to only go to Goku. So if you have some other characters and you know you want to use something like this, you can definitely use it for those characters. And it's also going to come with an adjustable stand. So there's a little bit of uh, movement with this. You just kind of slide into one of these little tabs right here. And this is also going to have some movement. So it's going to have like a little hinge. And it can go back and forth for you know easy adjustable uh, height. And for comparisons, here he is next to the SH figure Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Vegito, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and a high grade Gundam. Now for my final thoughts on this kit, honestly, if I saw Goku looking like this heading my way, I would shit my dick. Like there, this is a pretty damn intimidating looking Goku and I just really appreciate it. I love the facial features. You only get two faces, but I think they're both are really intense. One just having that really super determined, the other one having that grinding teeth face. It looks really good. And if you just add that little extra work to it, like I mentioned before, it is going to look pretty damn good. Now, normally I probably would have made like a little montage of me you know, doing the extra work, but I did all this on a live stream some time ago. Uh, so if you missed it, I'm definitely sorry. I think I might have deleted that live stream. Uh, but you know, in the future, I can definitely show you some tutorials on how to actually achieve this look. Um, I'm not the, the best to be honest, but I do attempt to, you know, try and, you know, maybe perfect my little skill sets and what little I do know, I can definitely share to you guys. Uh, but other than that, I mean, hey, this is a really awesome kit. Uh, if you really want to pick it up, definitely head over to NewTypeHQ.com. Use that promo code CROSSAMUS, that way you can get 10% off of your purchase. And maybe bundle up a whole bunch of them, because this is obviously going to look good with a bunch of other Dragon Ball kits. Uh, because the freezes I have right here, this is a SH figure art. So... The scaling is going to be off, so maybe you, you're going to have to like, you know, mix and match all the different um, uh, figure eye standards, but other than that, I mean, they look good together nonetheless. But that's it for me, guys. Definitely thank you for watching, and like always, smash that like button, you know, comment whatever you feel, if you pick it up this kit or not, and subscribe if you haven't already. But that's it for me, guys. I'll be seeing you in the next review. Bye-bye.